Hello everybody and welcome back to Age of Wonders 3 Planetfall. We're going to keep working our way over here to the Elysium Park so that we can search that. And I'm not certain if we're going to be able to use more than one army in the battle, but I'm going to try to get a couple of different armies over this way to kind of have them stand by as backup. Like, I think if we take this army... If we take them in, they might be okay. There's not a hero in this army, so that kind of makes me hesitate to use them. But everyone else is pretty far away to the to the east. And then after we take care of this, we're going to head north. And then we're going to head further west. So that's kind of our path that we're on right now. And hopefully that will work out. Let's check out what's happening. Production ready. So they don't have anything else going on here. What do we want to get into? We could focus on generating energy, which is what we're doing. That might be a good idea if we're ever going to pay off. Uh, Nisa? Sira? I, I keep forgetting this woman's name. Sina. If we're ever going to pay her off, her 1000 energy, we're going to have to focus on that for a bit. And then over here, we're going to wrap up the bioengineered food plantation. And it might be time to start replacing some of the troops that we lost. How are we looking on Cosmite? Not great, but not awful. Okay. Maybe one more? We need a pug because it really helps to have a healer in the army. Incoming communication. How are you doing? Hopefully we can foster pot. Yes, we're going to keep just complimenting him. Well, I compliment him specifically about his completion of an empire task. I don't know if it makes any difference when we do that, but it seems more sincere. Incoming communication. And what does Michael want? Same thing. He's not doing anything specific enough for us to give him any details about why we love him. So we'll just compliment him and make him happy we we have quite a bit of influence influence has not been an issue lasers are fast accurate and leave no bloody mess just the delicious smell of fried bacon delicious. mark mcnash ceo lays i don't know why fried bacon fried bacon okay fair enough I, i'm not sure how much we're actually using laser weapons is the only thing. Yeah, he could keep moving over here. What is this? Two units? Paragon soldiers, skirmishers. They have a, they have a assault rifle, so they'll probably have Overwatch. I mean, we could see. Yeah. Okay. That's good. We could use them. Let's go scout this out up here with our owl. 452. These guys are just hopelessly, hopelessly far from any of the action. Five turns just to get up that way. Maybe I should... Have him go up here. Six turns. I wish they could somehow fast travel between cities. That would be pretty cool to have some, some ability like that teleport our units. Maybe there is one. Maybe some one of the races might have something like that. 
I'm not sure. Oh, you don't want to trespass. God forbid. Sastin can annex another sector. That's going to be nothing but good for us. If we can actually find a place. Like, down here looks good. We can exploit this for energy. Let's just have him go up here but not get too close. We've learned that sometimes the enemies will come out and just engage us. Production ready. While we're trying to move people into position and get ready. I'm not going to add anything more to this queue right now. And we'll take this army in here. Let's investigate. Laura 2, is that you? Emma 3 sent us. We want to ask you some questions about the night the fighting started. We heard that there were three officers involved. Do you remember their names? Emma 3 sent you. I guess I could trust you then. Yes, of course I remember their names, silly. I am a robot. It was Colonel Valentine, Colonel Garu, and Lieutenant Yang. They all wanted time with Ilya 5. I was bringing them another bottle of champagne when suddenly they threatened each other with their guns. Ilya 5, another of your kind, I suppose? Yes, but if you need to ask, you are surely not from around here. Ilio 5 was the star of Leave 6. She was the latest model, with looks you would kill for. No wonder she caused a war. I can't tell you how often the other vanguard came looking for her since she ran off with Lieutenant Yang. Oh wait, I can. It was 243 times. Nobody knows where she's hiding except Michael 4, and he'll just pretend his audio processors aren't working. Hmm... Commanding officer bar fights, runaway succubots, succubus and robots, very interesting. Runaway succubots, very weird. I must say this whole affair is getting more and more bizarre, I agree with you Jack. But now I want to get to the bottom of all this, I guess we should pay this Michael Forbot a visit. That seems to be up on the agenda. In 27 turns. So... Okay, well that's fine. We didn't actually have a confrontation there. Let's start pulling people up this way. Make sure that no other objective... Oh, look at this. That's right, we gotta get over there. So it might help to leave some people over here. Maybe we just take this group up and these guys and then we can send everybody in the east. We can actually... Can we even go into his territory though? We'll find out. I wonder if I could just go around. I don't want him going anywhere by himself. I for We got pretty decimated. Let's have him come up and join forces up here. And that will be okay. This guy also can just head to the east. Okay. Um, well, we could do this. Energy sectors upgrade, That's that might help us meet our goal. And we could do Specialist Training Center. Energy Efficient Assembly Line. By focusing on energy efficiency, the production of units can be made significantly cheaper. At higher levels, this can reduce the upkeep cost of any unit placed, produced in the colony. And then we have an optimization control agency. By controlling colonists and optimizing work processes, efficient gains can be reached during times of focused effort. At higher levels, increased energy production gains can be reached by fully focusing in this direction. Let's go with the assembly line so our units are cheaper. That would be very useful, I think. 
And we'll end our turn. Production ready. Alright, that's perfect. So we could send him here. It's five, six. That'll complete this army. Production ready. Empire task completed. Incoming communication. You are the path to victory. Keep it up. Yeah, we're we're trying, but we might we might not be able to meet her quest. So we'll see what happens then. In the meantime, try to be in good favor with her. Our opinion of her is not very good and for good reason. But her opinion of us is great. Trying to take a look at what we've completed here. Emissary, diplomat, or getting into technologist, last man standing, and the economist. Uh, you're going to continue your route. You're fine to keep moving. And I really need to get this guy going up that way. And these guys can just kind of hold. I might throw that owl into the battle just to have another unit. Just to make sure that everything's okay. This location belongs to an NPC faction who may provide you okay. with quests and make demands of you. A in an NPC faction leads to diplomatic benefits. Such as the ability to purchase their units right. and being able We've done that. So we could buy more units from them. We already bought some stuff from them. Uh, and I don't want to spend too much of our influence though. Although the heavy soldier... I feel like I have to at least have one, right? Let's take a look at this guy. Look at that. If you're going to infiltrate the Paragon Complex, you'll need keywords to get past the heavy soldiers. These ancient walkers are guardians to their colony of dreams. The only heed techno they only heed techno prophets. If our intelligence is correct, this week's passwords are in your data loggers. If the intelligence is not correct, you'll want to run. Heavy soldiers are sure footed and single minded, so disorienting guild mind tricks won't affect them. You're not outfitted to withstand a blow from their heavy repeater guns or their shoulder demolisher rockets. Heavy repeater gun, 10 damage, 7 range. And the upgraded strike missile. 1 hex radius, massive impact will stagger units, including stagger resistant units. And demolisher, so it's going to deal 200% additional damage to any obstacles. What can we give this guy to make it better? We can make him better, we can make him stronger, because we have the technology. We might not have the resources. Just want to mod this guy out completely. Sturdy? I don't even know if that, like, is good enough to describe him. Let's call him the Omega Heavy Soldier. And confirm that. Alright, we're definitely sending this guy out this away. Let's see if we can have Jack come in and merge with this group. And then I'm going to actually put this guy in here as well. Let's just do that. So now we've got two pretty solid armies here. That we can use to push out to the east. These guys are waiting. They're waiting for this army to get up there.
message from the Paragon Faction. Under the rule of the Great Emperors, we witness a time of growth and prosperity. Alas, that time is almost forgotten. We have lost the tools that once built the great structures of that era, but all is not lost. Take up the mantle of memory. Kindle the hearts of your people, the past. Awaken your, our dreams by building monuments to the emperors of the past. They want us to make produ some production for them, so we could probably do that. We'll get another Paragon Soldier out of it. I'm not sure what we want to prioritize. Let's check what's going on over in Dubor. Nothing really except the energy efficient assembly line. So we could just put this up next and that should be fine. We need to get this taken care of in five turns or we're not going to be able to complete that quest. And yeah, that, that's just such a long way. But at least we are not getting hit with any border restrictions as of right now. Inevitably, this guy needs to join up with this group, I think. We could probably just set them on a trajectory. But I really don't want to. I think it's so far, we're just going to have to take it turn by turn because there's probably going to be things that we want to do along the way. To get him right in there. I don't want to move any of these other units too close until we get our main army in because I don't want them to be attacked. And we've learned that that can definitely happen. Let's find out what's going on up here. Okay. Well, we're friendly with them, so... Not sure why it would mark it in red. I wish it wouldn't do that when we are friendly with the unit that's going to be there. Same thing here. We'll have him hold... Let us open our borders to each other. This would greatly improve our mobility. It would mean a lot to me if we would come to an agreement. Yeah, I definitely, if we don't already have this open, we need it. We need it open. And then same here. I was inspired reading research on a maglev train accident in Star Union Station. The ENM braking failed, launching the train through three solid barriers before stopping. Naturally, I thought the same powers could be used in a weapon. Naturally. Clint it's Sutton, Vanguard High Energy Operations. Incredibly destructive. As it should be. Uh, let's grab Tank Core, I think. Could do explosive payload. I think I'm going to grab tanks. Okay. Might be able to come up here now. And to get this battle done, let's get everyone into position. Oh, he's out of t move points. There we go. We can engage it with anybody. So we should be able to handle this just fine. Got some Devar Advanced Foreman, who can inspire the other units and give them a boost to some of their stats. And they're also ranged. We also have Syndicate Runners, I don't think we've seen before. They have a Pulse Pistol that has a 5 range. And Arc Bolus, 5 range, thrown Advanced Bolus to capture and immobilize units. So they have a 5 range. These guys are going to have much shorter range, actually a 4 range. And here we have advanced indentured pulse repeaters with 7 range. So how far can these guys move? Maybe far enough to get that guy. One, two, three, four. They could probably hit us from there. Let's see if we can get some cover. 
Not really any good Overwatch shots. They're definitely not going to come up that close, I don't think. Peel our gunship off to the side here. I think I just want to stand back and overwatch. And then we'll see which way they go. But maybe I'll just pull him over here. Okay. We got Ace over here. He doesn't have too much of a range, and he doesn't have Overwatch. Let's pull him in like that. And maybe we'll use our Owl as a little bit of bait to see if we can get them to move forward a bit. They don't have range on us quite from there. And let's see what happens. Operations available. Yeah, they just entered Overwatch, so it's going to be a game of cat and mouse who gets into range first. We could probably step in and start taking some shots. But we're going to want to think about who we can isolate. We might be able to take the runners out. We have a lot of enemies on this side and not a lot of troopers. So I'm thinking about pulling some of these guys over. And if we do that... If we do that, we might as well start taking shots. They have anything that can hit an area. Yeah, this thing. No, maybe it's not. Throw. I don't think it's an area. I think it's a single target, but... We'll probably find out. Not bad, we've got some pretty good shots on this unit. Those are such bad shots. Can't get any good shots on this side. We're going to put them out in the open here. 5%. Oh man, 5% is not even marking a, worth marking a shot over. I would not have moved him up for a 5% shot. I guess now I know better. Not useful in this case. Um, I could probably try to take one more terrible shot at him. Twenty-five percent. We like somehow hit the enemy back there. I don't know how that happened. Not really. It's gonna be really sad if I can't get this unit down. And then we'll see what kind of madness ensues because of how I've chosen to position everybody on that side. Maybe I just pull him back. And draw them all this way. Get ready guys, this might not be pretty. He's immobilized. I don't know if that's gonna t stop him from taking an action or just from moving, we'll find out. 
and they immobilized that and triggered Overwatch. And then they teleported, like, into our cluster here. This could really screw him over. I don't know what the tactical advantage of that was. Yeah, see, I was worried about clumping them all up, and now we know that it's the Devar that we have to worry about. Okay. I think we're okay. We might even be in pretty good shape. They got this guy, like... I mean, I don't know what this guy was thinking. Kind of a silly move. Enemy neutralized. We've got some pretty good shots on the Devar here, as long as we can avoid triggering their melee overwatch. Ah, oh, we did trigger it, didn't we? We'll finish them off and no, that'll be fine. If they're finished off, they won't trigger the Enemy overwatch. eliminated. That's fun. Okay, and now... Let's see what's going on over here, because there are two units over here and only one on this side. So we kind of want to be aware of what's happening. See, he's immobilized. That can't hit him, unfortunately. All we can do is try to take our awful shot. Of course we missed. Won't miss with this, though. Well, we st staggered him. Deal some really good damage with those Void Blades. Let's come over here and actually we'll take a, a shot for 80% at, at this group. They hunkered down or they okay. So that will make them easier to hit next turn. Which will probably be worth it. I was gonna say, who should we be worried about here? Obviously this group right here might get blown up. Yikes! Okay. Unit lost. Yes. Saw that. So they have a reaction where they teleport and maybe even heal. Skate module. When they drop below zero, they automatically teleport to a random position three hexes away and heal. So yeah, that's pretty great for them. They die, and then they teleport and heal 15 health back. Enemy annihilated. But they can only do that trick once, so... Why can't I hit these guys at all? Oh, they're in this defense. Cannot be reached. Cannot be reached. Okay. I do something like that. That's cool. Hey, that works. These guys are actually really good, potentially. Getting these decent shots because we use Enemy our destroyed. owl's ability to make them more visible or targetable. I don't know how this will go. Let's see. 50%? Not bad. Hey, we got it. Good job, guys. Enemy down. They never stood a chance. We only lost one infantry unit, so that's not too bad. Wide range mending rig sounds good. Heal target unit for 20. Can only be used once per, per battle. Additionally, this mod grants the unit plus 10. So it heals somebody else and then heals the user a bit. That's actually really good. 
Take Objective that. complete. And we'll take that. And now we could work them over this way. We have a molten earth arsenal over here and the orbital defense uplink. So we're going to take these groups and march them over here. We are going to take these groups and march them over here. So we're going to split our efforts to hopefully conquer this all in the least amount of turns possible. But this is going to be a good time to take a little bit of a break. And that will be the plan for when we come back. I'm still having a really great time with Age of Wonders Planetfall. I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I hope you're actually enjoying your own playthroughs because it's all very dynamic. Um, it's different every time I play. And there are always things that are unexpected that crop up. So yeah, really great time. Wish me luck. Everybody take care and we'll see you soon. Bye now.